this is Old Maid's Puzzle. It's a 12 inch block. And here's the coloring I have chosen to make. Here is the diagram. And here are the cutting instructions. There are three different patches. Patch A is a three inch finished square. You're going to cut three and a half inch squares. And you need two of the yellow and four of the background. Patch B is a three inch finished half square triangle. You'll cut squares that are three and seven eighths inches. Cut them in half once diagonally to get two pieces. And for the background you need eight pieces so that means you'll cut four squares. And for the light blue you'll need two pieces so you'll cut one square. And for the dark blue you'll also need two pieces and cut one square. The last patch is patch C. It's a six inch finished half square triangle. And you will cut a square six and seven eighths inches and cut it in half once diagonally to get the two patches you need of your dark fabric. What you'll do first is make the half square triangles and then you'll sew the, um, the corner pieces. The, it's really a four patch block. This is one patch, one, two, three, four. So once you do the half square triangles, then you just do the other patch with the A, B, and, and C. Here is what it looks like if you put four together this way, and this has a sashing in between it and a cornerstone. Also, you'll see that uh, on the next page, I have fabric requirements and cutting for a 60 by 88 inch quilt, and you saw pictures of that at the very beginning of this video. I'll just go over these briefly just to show you. Here's what the quilt looks like. It's The blocks are set four across and six down for 24 blocks and there's sashing and cornerstones in the interior of the quilt and then there's a three inch border all the way around. It finishes at 60 inches by 88 inches. You'll need four yards for the background, half a yard for the yellow, half a yard for the light blue, and one and a half yards for the dark blue, and then half a yard for the binding. Now I'll show you the pieces of fabric I cut for mine. Here are the A patches, your squares. Here are the B patches, the small half square triangles. And here are the large half square triangles, the C patches. Now I'm just going to put the half square triangles together and then this, this one unit, the second unit, and show you how those go together. I want to show you how we put that, uh, that other unit, that corner unit together. Here is the large triangle and then the square actually will go like this. So to get this, you you piece two of these half square triangles on either side like this. So what I do is I sew this part on first, then I press it open, then I sew this half square triangle on next, and then I press it open. You might occasionally end up with something like this, which doesn't look right because I've done that before. So just remember that when you look at the half square triangle, the diagonal part is going to be on the diagonal part of this piece. So that helps you to visualize that as you're piecing it. And now I'll piece these together. Here is the finished corner unit I'm calling it. I don't know what it's actually called. And here is what you're actually doing is piecing this half square triangle and you're sewing it to this half square triangle. So that's your two corner pieces. Now to get the other corner pieces, you take your matching half square triangles and put them together that look kind of like wings and let's put these together that look like wings and then fill them in with the background squares and here is the block here's the back and the front and I thought you might also enjoy seeing the finished quilt top Oh, I'll just put it up here because you can't really see this when you take a photograph or at least when I take a photograph. Here's one of the blocks 
and this is the border. The fabric I use for the background is Moda's Grunge Seeing Spots, and this is eggshell. This is Sedona Wave. It's actually a 108 inch backing fabric, but I like, I like it so much I just bought a lot of it. And this is the blue, and then this is a Grunge Basics. I think that's called Lemon. This is from, I don't know which, that's from Fat Quarter I had or something. But I did all of the blocks the same. They look exactly the same. How they are laid out, just make this giant star and another star in the middle. This is the one of the cornerstones. The cornerstones match what fabrics are next to them. So here the cornerstone is blue. And over here, the cornerstone is yellow. So this makes a secondary design with the blocks together and then the cornerstone. This quilt top is for sale if you're interested. There's a link in the description below the video. And if there's no link there, that means the quilt top has been sold. So thank you for watching.